Control R2 is the new script for Ableton Live for the Livid Control R. This workflow takes full advantage of Control R's layout and puts sequencing under your fingers at all times. When you first load up a set and select the Control R as your control surface, you're immediately ready to sequence. If you're on a MIDI track, you can sequence MIDI notes for a drum rack or a synth. The Control R will adapt as needed, putting your music in your hands. Let's select a track with the drum rack and select a clip. You'll see the grid adapt to playing the rack. We can use the shift to select a pad, then sequence it here on the top row. If our clip is longer than one measure, we can use the shift to select the measure and turn on follow so the current measure is always visible. I can also change the time resolution of the sequencer with these buttons from one quarter note triplets to 30 second notes. I can change the grid to clips in session view using this bottom right button next to shift. The top row keeps the last sequence visible, so I can always make changes even if I trigger another clip. I'll select another track, this time an audio track. While I can't edit individual notes, I can use this top row to create subloops of the clip for up to four measures. If I select a MIDI track with a synth on it, then the 4x4 becomes a sort of keyboard to play notes. We can change how notes are mapped to the pads with the shift and scale, transpose, and offset buttons. As with the drum rack, we can play the notes, and use shift to select them and sequence them. That's some of the stuff that you can reconfigure the controller for, but there's a lot that doesn't really change. This side of the mixer controls volumes and sends for the tracks in session view, and these right knobs are used for the first three macros in each track, great for EQ or whatever special effects you're into. I can move my session using shift and the encoders up here. These sliders are for return levels and pre-hear and master volumes. I can select tracks in the session using these buttons. They have some different colors depending on the arm state. MIDI tracks will automatically arm and you'll see the light red color in live. That's the magenta on the controller. I can select then press again to permanently arm it and the track will flash red and white. I can select another track. Audio tracks won't auto arm, so those will be white until I press it again to arm it. We can also select any track in the set using the top right encoder. If I want to change my session view, I can shift and use these encoders here. I have some other track controls here with stop track clips and mute, and in combination with shift, solo. I can control devices using the encoders. I can navigate the devices with this encoder and select it, then change the parameters using the bottom eight encoders. I also have some special controls on the encoder button, so I can toggle the device on and off, lock the device to it, change banks, and go deeper into device chains. There's also a really cool way to quickly get to devices using the device selector macros. I can set up to 14 different devices for easy recall if I turn on the device selector with this encoder button. Just highlight a device, then set it to a pad in the 4x4. Notice that it changes the name of the device with this special prefix. Then I can easily bring a device to the front. Notice that different classes of device have different colors. Finally, our Max for Live steppers are really easy to get to. Just select a Max for Live device, as you would any other device, then turn on the Max for Live toggle. This remaps the encoders and buttons to the device for a completely new take on sequencing. Use the shift button up here to access the extra four encoders for things like rotation and repeat. You can, of course, use the device selector to map your Max for Live devices to the 4x4 grid for easy recall. For more details and documentation, visit our wiki at wiki.lividinstruments.com and look up the Control R2 documentation for the script and Max for Live Step sequencers.